how to artificially make your upper body look bigger. A thumbnail. You Photoshop. <laughs> no, I didn't Photoshop. I didn't. You didn't Photoshop? The fact that you have large shoulders and that makes your upper body look artificially bigger, right? You have one part that's really big yeah, okay. and, and it makes it look bigger. For yeah. me, I have a big chest mm -hmm. and that makes it look bigger. Oh, so just make one part bigger and then they'll make the other parts look smaller? So yeah. That's an artificial, it's creating an illusion of size. Right, so these, yeah. this workout yeah. will help them do that. No, oh, yeah, this gauntlet workout <laughs> will help you do that because it's an instant pump and it's a lot of fun. And uh, what is this? What is that? What are you, are you happy to see us? <laughs> it's my new book, The Builder. And this book is for people who are trying to get into working out, people who are getting back into working out, and people who are burnt out, who just, you know, good medicine. There are eight workouts in this book, eight habit building workouts. This book gives you a framework to do fitness, to do your workouts, instead of just giving you mm -hmm. workouts. So you're gonna learn how to do the gauntlet. Correct. So we have whatever workouts. We have visualization workouts, exclusion workouts, time attack workouts, practice sessions, gauntlet workouts, max effort workouts, and Instagram workouts. Not including the book or YouTube workouts, but Instagram and YouTube workouts kind of go hand in hand in a way. Sure. Uh, Travis, you ready to film Instagram? Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, Isn't this the Arnold Press? Do they call it that? Arnold Press is going to be this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Which doesn't work unless you're seated or. It doesn't work if you're using too heavy a weight too. So, yep. No, nope, this is just a standing dumbbell press. <gasps> Stuff to do here. Whoop. Lateral raises. Rah. 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 Look at all these dumbbells. I know there's a lot. I'm not doing all this. <laughs> Wait, you're not doing all this? No. Oh, I thought no. we were doing all those. You guys are doing some of them. Oh, yeah, I thought we were doing all of them. Nah. Oh. Nah, we're not doing six drop sets of lateral raises. Damn. Oh, no one on the planet has done that. In a gauntlet. Right. So you're doing one drop set of lateral raises. Yeah. Oh, damn. Can I do six? Yeah. Okay. You're welcome to. Okay, I'm gonna rename this gauntlet to the uh, shoulder and trap gauntlet. My traps are kicking in hardcore right now. They are. Son of a bitch. That's expected. It's, it's kind of hard during an entire shoulder gauntlet to develop a mind-muscle connection where you don't use your yeah, traps. Video. A video Jeff Nippard made about the correct way to do lateral raises. Your glutes flexed throughout the range of motion. You just throw that out the window if you throw them in a gauntlet. God damn. You want to initiate the concentric by leading out and up with your elbow. So Travis, we got to do that weight. Remember guys, this is a pump gauntlet as well. You're looking to get a pump. This is not a strength building gauntlet. And most gauntlets you probably shouldn't do for strength purposes. <laughs> I'm not trying to impress you with my shoulder press strength right now. No. I'm just trying to survive and not burp. You know, I was researching uh, people to do uh, workouts after and diets after a day in the life of, and I was looking at Terry Crews. Yeah. And Terry Crews' chest arm workout, it starts with power queens. <laughs> like, what, dude? <laughs> Why? What are you doing, he's, man? He's trying to cater to high schoolers. Yeah, right. High schoolers love power queens. <laughs> Is it uncomfortable yet? Hell yeah, it's uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh, man. This is a whole body workout. I don't know if I'm gonna meet my objective. I thought the, the objective was to make one body part bigger. I think just gonna make everything around the shoulders bigger too. Mm-hmm. I mean, your forms are gonna get pumped as well. Hey guys, remember this exercise? This is an oldie but a goodie. We haven't done it in a while because we have a, uh, machine inside the gym and rings and rings but we used to hang the strap up and do this all the time oh yeah there we go rear delts let's get those going you get some front delt too doing this Ooh, okay i don't know if it's working okay i'm done <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's it, it. How long was that? How long did it take me to do that? Oh, it was about six, five minutes, six minutes. Five minutes set. Huh. Hey, I'm, I'm happy about that. Good. Are you going to do two of them, three of them? T uh, two of them. Okay. And then we're going to do chest, right? Sure. Travis is doing standing press. Travis, you've done a gauntlet before, is that right? Yeah, we did the bicep gauntlet. Ah, isn't it? It's called the drop set. 
John, not to be a bother, uh -huh. but can you look at Travis's lateral raises and see if he can adjust his form a little bit? Yeah, he can. Yeah, it's not you're not doing them particularly well. Oh, bring him a man. little bit. Bring him a little bit more forward out here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like that. Go lift. Here, more there. Yeah. Yeah. Unless like uh, we'll your wrist's going hot. Yeah. yeah. With the elbow a little. Yes. Yes. yes, yes lead yes. with the elbow. Exactly. Triceps are kicking most the end of this. Yes. Does it Whoa. matter? Yeah, 20 reps, Travis. Yeah, absolutely not. I'm glad I. I'm glad I. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I just. It was not insulting of me to just load a bar for nothing. No. You know? Lead with the elbows. Can. Nice. Nice. It's, it's a pain in the ass, isn't it? It's hitting this. Yeah, John too, can talk it? while he films. Mm. Oh, I don't like talking. We kind of have to do it, brother. <laughs> it's basically our job. Oh, daddy. Well, you were going to do real delt first and then that, but okay. you could do that if you like. You know? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, why don't you just change our workout in the middle of it? That's going to work well. That's fine, yeah. Yeah, it's, well, there was a reason to do real delt before this. But yeah. <laughs> if this is too hard, you can always kind of step back a little bit and change the levers. As long as you're hitting this. You feel that? Yep. Perfect. It's a pretty full feeling, isn't it? <laughs> I like that one. You really feel that one like hit the whole damn delt. I don't know why I feel that how I feel like I'm supposed to feel lateral race. I like that that's description. That path yeah, that's good. That I've never done correctly before. That's okay. <laughs> Most people, I, I did lateral raises wrong. Uh, most people do. In around 15 to 30 degrees to the front when viewed from the top. Uh, it's like, it's, it's very technical. Hard. It no, is. it's very technical, yeah. Lateral raises are not something that's easy to do. And it's also one of those uh, things that you see everyone doing. So right, yeah. you automatically try to go to the gym and do it. Only flexing your lateral delt. You don't realize that you're, you, you've been doing it poorly. Or that everyone else is doing it wrong too. Exactly. <laughs> Ready, set, go. <laughs> Nice. All right. Guys, if you're wondering, the uh, 100 foot by 16 feet wide strongman walkway is not a requirement to do gauntlets. You just need about that much space in your public gym. Yep. Or in your <laughs> backyard. Or in your backyard, yeah. There's no reason why you can't have a bunch of muddy dumbbells. Gauntlets are actually good for a home gym because they don't require heavy weights usually. So. Exactly. It just requires creativity, ingenuity, creatine. resourcefulness, and creatine, correct. If you don't have creatine, you won't get pumps. <laughs> You're not going to be able to get it off if you get too pumped, though. You won't be able to actually get it off if you get too hot. You'll be trapped. <laughs> yeah, the zipper's useful, man. The pullovers are a pain in the ass when your shoulders are pumped. All right, Tom, let's okay. go. Let's go. This is the middle of the gauntlet. Just... <laughs> I did. Yeah. It feels pretty good, doesn't it? Okay. Yeah, I like, the, I like, the, I like the having this in the middle. It worked really well. Ooh, all right. Whew. Oh, this is hard now. Yeah, you're going for a narrow grip. You want to widen it up a bit? It'll make, probably make it a little easier. Is it? Is it? Yeah, I find it easier <coughs> wider, man. Oh, it is, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a little better, yeah. Woo wee! Catawba Valley. That's where this bench was from, the YMCA. Did you ever know that? Yeah, I, I didn't know it was from Catawba Valley, but I knew it was from the Y. <laughs> All right. Go. So, if you're asking yourself right now why you haven't done this before, well, <laughs> the answer is because you never had the idea to do it until now. <laughs> what is he doing? Pole vaulting! Whoa, Tom, that's some crazy levers right, you got going on there, man. Wrist. He's leaning back. Yeah, I'm leaning back too much. The further you lean back, the harder it is. It is. Yeah, you feel like you're still getting some shoulder development in there, some, some yeah. artificial body part partitioning here. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah? This is hard. Try it straight up. Like, Imagine you're doing a backflip, Tom. What? Oh. If you guys are uh, trying to find a strength exercise for your upper body for backflipping, well, here it is. Attach a strap to a, an eyelet thing. And uh, yeah. That, that's been my favorite part of this video so far. As if you're in a car wash. Oh, man. Have you ever gone to a car wash? No, but I've seen enough Instagram stories of people going through car washes to not do this that myself. not working. Yeah, it doesn't work anymore. You should just stop. No. All right. No, no, no. Go 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that is 4 minutes exactly. Cool.
Four minute gauntlet okay. for Mr. Tom Boyden. Let's spin <laughs> more things around. <laughs> we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do two more off camera, then we'll show you the pump. Because <laughs> Juju's pump is very important because it's featured in the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> I do have an interesting thing I did last night. Mm -hmm. I don't know, and this morning. I don't know if it's because I read your, your visualization workout and didn't apply it to a workout. <laughs> I was, when I was walking the last two days, I was literally flexing my chest mm. during walking because I was thinking about this workout. Pre-exhaust. Pre, pre-exhaust. Pre Very pre. Like, <laughs> premature baby pre, like eight weeks. <laughs> it's exhausting to think about flexing your chest. You don't think that flexing could have made my chest grow bigger? Flexing will this workout? I think flexing will definitely make your chest bigger during this workout, but I don't think visualizing yourself flexing your muscles is going to help make your chest get bigger. <laughs> Ooh, this is good. Yeah, it's good. This is good. Uh, what? I don't think you want to over in your book idea of when you want to take a good picture of a pump, it's not at the end of the workout. It's somewhere in the middle. It's somewhere right before the end, I you, think. You could probably write a whole book, a handbook on that. I, I need to learn more before I write something yeah. I don't know anything about. Yeah. I know some things about it, but not enough to write a book. You know, go back there for a second. What, go back. What? You look almost angelic. With, Do I? With the, uh, with the two windows right here. Oh, the beautiful. lighting, it's symmetrical. It's, uh... Is it shut to the, uh... Oh, yeah, you look holy. Uh, what, what, what exercise are you starting with? Are you doing this now? Okay. I guess. No, I'm going to go back to this. <laughs> Bodybuilders, spirit animals, guys, they're all moths because all they do is look for lighting. Oh, that Mel Gibson came down, told you to go check out his cornfield for the chest pump. Wait, is this, is this like a science reference? Did I just <laughs> throw a glass of water on you right now in this video? Dude. Oh, I'm melting! <laughs> Swing away, Gigi. I asked Juju before the workout or during the shoulder gauntlet, hey man, why were we doing a shoulder gauntlet before the chest? And his answer? I don't know. <laughs> Tom, you're meditating on the uh, <clears throat> uh, chest fly machine? It's true. I told you not to film. Oh. Actually, I told you to film, so sorry. <laughs> if, for reference, this is before the thumbnail has been taken, so my chest pump is not there yet. We don't usually talk about that. Just film timing. <laughs> uh, You're also but, wearing a shirt, which doesn't help. Well, you can kind of see. Yeah. Dude, this, it's, this is a good shirt for the chest. I read Juji's book, and I will admit that uh, like I, I've done the workouts and paged through almost Naked Athlete and all those things, but it's not a shot against Juji. It's just what I read. I've only read four fitness books in my life before I read Builder. What were those? I know you read Starting Strength. Starting Strength. I, I'm counting volume one and two, even though they're the same book. Uh -huh. And I, those are, I own both of those. And then practical programming. Oh, it's five. Sorry. Fifty Shades of Grey. And then... <laughs> That's a workout, yeah. You don't even know the story. I know the IMDb reviews. That's the movie. The, the oh. book has some, some, some good workout knowledge. And the last one I read in 2017 was Power of the People by Pavel Sotsilin. Mm -hmm. Which was not very good. I, I, I like Pavel's books. I mean, I liked it, but I just didn't get that. Maybe I was just reading it because I was trying to get into fitness again. Yeah. But I, I just didn't get that much out of it. It was like kettlebell and deadlift and clean. Yeah. Squat. And so there's like, a minimalist okay. training book. Yeah, and it's good. It's it good, is. but that was the last one I had read. And that was over three years ago. And the builder is, it's, it's basically Juji's voice. It's honest, it's actionable, and it gives you a framework to just create your own workouts, to create your fitness goals, to give you the right habits. And I just don't think there's much out there on the actual mental and uh, uh, mental. I want to see you get it out. I'm not helping you. Uh, you change the exposure. I'm gonna go over here now. Oh wow! Ooh, ooh! Is it working? Yeah. You trying to get whatever the hell is out of your head I'm is trying. is actually not coming out of your head. It's coming out of your well, no, chest. It's because the brain blood is in the chest. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It changes your mindset. Trains your mindset to think about training in a different way. I think it's just about uh, well, from the author's standpoint, yeah. making training simply happen. Yeah. 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 Why do you have to go in and have uh, uh, make yourself do super heavy squats and like hate that? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you go in and just do whatever workout and f 
desk around a little bit, but still get a workout and still feel good. And if it turns into squats, it turns into squats. Yeah. But you know, the alternative is worse, which is beating yourself up over not doing right. the heavy lifts and not working out at all. And to be honest, that's uh, for me and diet to relate way worse to do nothing and beat yourself and your mind up about it for your long term, because you're going to think about that and that'll become a habit of if you skipped it, you're fucking mad at yourself for doing that, right? Mm -hmm. If you take a rest day and you've decided that's the purpose that day, you're not going to beat yourself up. You needed that. Correct. But if you go when you thought you weren't going to go and you're going to beat yourself up, it's still going to be fine. You're going to be, your mindset is going to continue to be motivated to go. And for dieting, if I'm going to have a cheat meal or eat a freaking cookie, I'm going to feel gosh darn good about it. I'm not going to regret it or guilt trip myself. Oh, dude, you feel a little fat. It's probably that cookie. That's not <laughs> it's good. It's part of the plan. It is. It's part of your plan. And you got to accept it in your mind because mm -hmm. if you don't, you're just going to rip your hair out, man, or lose it because hey. you're getting older. Uh, Travis, I, I think that, that sums up my thoughts on it. I, I really like it. Thank you. And I think they should get it. And it's also very easy to read. It's not like you're going to have to like will yourself to read this book. Not like a manual con. No, no. Not like starting strength. <laughs> Pract practical programming. You got to go into that. Drink a gallon of milk before you're able to. Oh, God. <laughs> I just want to see you finish this chest set. I'm still doing it. Yeah. He, he's supersetting a. A he's, book review and testimonial. He's setting a book review and testimonial with chest flies. World's first. Duty program, ass. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. It's my turn. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> when you program that, subliminally, you put that in your own book. That you have a, one of the workouts, because there's a program in it for four weeks. You, you actually put in the superset flies uh, press. And in the middle of it is book review review my book <laughs> here's the web link all right how's your chest pump going today oh it's good I, I i think we were theorizing off camera that maybe obliterating the shoulders before some of these chest exercises is helping our chest be more isolated hmm. you know because think about what isolation is it, it's trying to target one muscle group yeah uh completely without other muscle groups i don't know getting in the way or pre-fatiguing or something or just like shoulders aren't working so the chest is having to do all the work now yeah we pushed them out of the way yeah so that worked really good it was it, and we've been good. noticing that we've been playing with workouts a lot lately guys and finding these patterns and i think it's just because juju and i are just more aware of the pump factor and what muscles are working because during a powerlifting workout you know you're using your whole goddamn body <laughs> like, it's different it's, it's very different i like it but it's different it's very different here we're like i don't want to use my shoulders during this <laughs> i don't man bench press i'm going for my max i don't want to use my shoulders like Ugh, you got a problem uh yeah <laughs> yeah you're gonna have problems yeah. Yeah. i don't want to flex my back and keep it tight during a squat it's just like i want to isolate man <laughs> experimenting and we're finding the stuff that works uh, i don't think i need to add any more to what you just said Tom. Yes. You know, you said about like getting the pump is right before the end of the workout, but not at the end of the workout yep. type thing. Yeah, I think you've gone too Push far. my chest. Oh, yeah. Push my chest. Oh. Is it working? I, you're starting to lose your pump. You're okay, so okay. Just, now is the time to thumbnail. get the thumbnail. Follow us, Travis. Watch as we create a thumbnail. Yep. Because nobody's watched this video. They've seen the thumbnail, they've seen the title. You've most likely clicked through because we're boring. You don't listen to us. I wouldn't. I barely ever actually edit the videos. At this point, we have a computer program that just edits them, right? I, I don't spend six to eight times as long editing the videos than we do filming them. No! I figured it out. Okay. Where should we do here? Okay. Come around over here, Travis. I'll throw you this way. Just tell me where lighting is. What? Ooh. Here? Yeah, because there's a lot oh, of Oh, this direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here? That's right here. <laughs> Okay. That's good. All right. Smash that subscribe button. Yeah, don't like the video.